everybody, this is Marjorie. I just had fat boy at the door. He says, hello darling, I was wondering darling if you were hungry. And I says, hungry? I've, well, I've just had my lunch. What is it? What do you want anyway? What is it? He says, darling, I wondered if you fancied some tapas. I says, put one horn in me and you'll go down there, right, with my, my fit up your bahookie. He says, no darling, the tapas, the little dishes. I says, little dishes? How many little dishes would you need to have as I mean? Of course, I mean, we need to bring about 44 dishes. My pal Kelsey, right, she went to a tapas place once and she, <laughs> she says, can we get four dishes each? And the waiter, the waiter was like, well, no, you can't eat all that, but, you know, she's got a big appetite, Kelsey. We lassie, she's off the thin, she's off the wee, but she's got some appetite. Oh my God, she's, you know, see, you take her to her, eat all you can buffet. She literally does. She clears the place. Oh, that's awfully good. Anyway, fat boy says to me, darling, I've got myself a new bed. It's a water bed. I says, you've got a water bed. Oh my God. I mean, that... His house is going to be like an aquarium. I said, what? what are you going to do if that water bed bursts? There'll be water everywhere. I says, it'll be like Sea World. I says, talking of water. See, when I'm away in my holidays with Senga, we do mind watering my garden. Looking after my plants and everything, you know. And if you think they need it, give, them, give my plants a wee bit of feeding. I'm regretting that already. I mean, asking Fat Boy to feed my plants. I mean, he'll be giving them chips and fried eggs, you know. God knows what he'll be be feeding them bonbons and all sorts anyway so I've said to him will you look after my garden because I'm very proud of my garden you know my, my wee garden's looking beautiful now it reminds me actually it's like a miniature version of the Glasgow Garden Festival <laughs> remember the Glasgow Garden Festival remember in the old days when you could actually go about and you know mingle and all loads of folk oh I love the Glasgow Garden Festival we got a bus we <laughs> we got a 53 seater bus and we all went through it oh, I nearly said Edinburgh that would have been a stromash for a... <laughs> Imagine saying to Senga, Senga, we're going to the Glasgow Garden Festival in Edinburgh. The neighbours are in about here. They'll all keep an eye on the place, you know, when I'm no here. Um, Femi, you know, well, when Femi gets out of the hospital, she's she's one of these, she's she's right nosy, Femi. She doesn't miss a trick. She'll say to you, Hello, Marjorie. I just happened to be at the window and I saw someone going into your house. Now, I didn't recognise them. Who were they? Oh, she's dead nosy. She doesn't miss a trick. Um, that's her wee catchphrase. Just happened to be at the window. I says, you either spend a lot of time at your window, Femi, or you've got a, an awful lot of windies in your house. Today, we're very excited. We've the karaoke, karaoke tonight. Um, I'm still deciding, I'm still deciding what I want to sing at the karaoke. I was thinking maybe something French, something French, because, you know, we, we talked about France at one point singing, I, so I says, what about, I could maybe sing something French, what about a wee song by, what's her name, the wee, the wee one, who's the wee one called, Edith, Edith Piaf, I could do a wee Edith Piaf song. No, 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 no. Oh, I, because I'm quite good at the French, you know, so we could do a wee bit Edith P.F. Oh, that'd be lovely. Right, so I'm away to get myself organised. I need to do four episodes, right? I've got four episodes. I've filmed my four episodes, right? And I says to David, I'll need to take a wee break before the fifth one because I'm going to get my hair done. I'm going to get my hair done before I go on my holidays. Senga, apparently, she's going to reveal where we're going on our holidays tomorrow. I says, oh, thank God. I mean, we're leaving on Saturday. We're leaving at the weekend. I still don't know where we're going. So I I need to take a wee pause in filming so that I can go and get my hair my hair done. And I got a wee phone call, right, from my hairdresser. And she says, Marjorie, look, I'm really sorry, Hen, but I'm not feeling very well at the moment. I've just had my second jag. I'm just recovering. My arm's off his hair. I can't go into the salon. But we, Josh, Josh the trainee, will do your hair. Is that all right? And I says, listen, folk have to start somewhere, don't they? They have to learn. So we, Josh the trainee, is going to do my hair. I mean, I don't think anything particularly can go wrong, is it? I mean... I'm just going to get my hair, my hair set, you know. So I, wee Josh is going to do my hair. Right, I've just got enough time to go and watch the 
the coronavirus update on STV, so I'll wait and see what Jimmy Cranky's saying the day. All right, I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. <laughs> Dead excited Friday, <laughs> and then I'm going on my holidays. All right, see you tomorrow, everybody. Bye bye. Ooh.